Hey, welcome to a Foreigner in the Philippines. Well, it's been quite a while since I've done an update on our guest house over Christmas, so all that time off and, uh, and family time. But we've done, we've done some. All of the granite is now installed, waiting for plumbing, pl plumbing to be done, which I haven't got those materials yet. But all of that is nicely done and all the panelling is done. Um, I've just got bits and pieces of details like this to be uh, spackled in and sanded and door trim. But into the main room, the sitting bed sitting room I guess you would call it, I've still got moulding to be done here which I decided would be to this design so we just cut this down just cut this down from the three quarter block ply and that turned out that's a, a heck of a lot cheaper than going and getting multiple pieces of moulding like we've had to do here much cheaper of course this this is moulding it's a hardwood moulding which you can see here look and we get these in that's a 10 foot length and a 10 foot length is over 100 pesos and you would be surprised at how quickly all of this work here swallows up a 10 foot length of moulding see but we'll also put this same width here we'll put that on here and we'll just rip it down from the block ply from here like this and we'll put that on there and then we'll put the half round on but this, this will be relatively cheap we'll, from one sheet of block ply we'll get all of this moulding and then of course we'll have to buy multiple sheets once again of this half round which will believe me it will swallow things up very quickly but I like that there I like the way that molding is all worked out I use this design in the living room of the red house and um, we use this we use this up here on on the freeze what I would call the freeze the borderline there look we use that into the red house still got to go up here and over the door down the door all of this de detail has all been done and this is in progress now as you can see that will be left there because it's a curl piece that was one of the old rustic support posts which was what the uh, guest house was originally built of see but all of this has gone in now and we're going to put that the same as in in here look we're going to put that the same here as well because that seems like a very a very tall piece of wall there so we put that at the same height as in the living room so that's where we are the, because we painted everything white, I wanted to blitz the white if in doubt and standing by the white can just be done uh, and it's never time wasted. We did this very successfully. We did this with success in, in the red house to get a real idea of how it's going to work and after I built all of the furniture for the red house I did, the, I did everything in white every single thing was painted white and that's what we'll do here as you can see there look but we're going to paint even this this here is smooth coat finish we'll still do that in white as well a lot of this is going to be covered by by fitted furniture the bed is coming out here and some other sort of um, closet type fittings which I'll be doing when 
James is out of here doing this wall panelling. So once that's all done, then I'll come in and, and I'll attend to this. And as I say, I'll blitz everything in white first of all. And then after that, I'll come and I'll do swatches of, of colour. As I, as I see, it should be done. And, um, and I don't mind making a mistake, so I might do one piece of wall and then decide that I don't like it. Uh, and I don't mind painting it white again. See, but we painted it white. And at first, when we put that uh, ceiling, when that ceiling design went up, um, I kind of uh, thought that it was going to be a lot lighter than that, shed a lot more light, but it didn't. But if you look at how disappointing the reflection of light is on that part, on that part of the ceiling, the drop ceiling, the, the ceiling is dropped just about three inches. And if you look at the difference here, terrific difference because everything is painted in a very light colour. So doing it in white was a very successful thing. Um, I probably might leave the ceiling itself white. I'll either leave the ceiling itself white and do the centre panel in, in a colour or vice versa. I'll have a look, see how it goes. Doesn't take long actually. Once the, once the wood is prepped, it doesn't actually take long to paint it. So that's time well spent. Okay, so where I'm sitting right now is where the, um, the corner unit, which we have in our extension at the moment, that will go here. And it just fits exactly here for this as a sitting area corner table which I've already built is there. I'll just paint it different to go into this room. That unit which is uh, a tall shelving unit that went in there and was those dimensions because I wanted to cover a very heavy looking pillar that went in that was sticking out as another one here look which was uh, a little bit lost. But we've panelled it in anyway. So, that's where we're up to right now. Up in that wood coloured uh, piece, there's a window going in there. And then next to it, the shower, you can see, such as it will. Thinking of buying one of the little unit, uh, little heating units that they sell on Facebook. They look quite good. And of course that black hole there will be for a fan. So, um, yeah, we're moving forward. Terrific amount of rain. It's obviously been raining in here. And, and as you can see, the rain has flooded into here and flooded this completely. The the way out of that will be to put another roof overhang up under here, up under here and going out over the pool, right out to there look, and put another roof out. That'll be the answer there, but drop it, drop it down and almost just above the ceiling, at the doorway. So. Looking good. We'll be back with another update. And bye for now. Yep, bye for now.